I was just wrapping this video up and I realized that I deleted my intro from about a week ago. Welcome back to my channel, Amanda here. If you are new here, I love to cover fashion, style, lifestyle, and travel when I can. And today's video is inspired by Lydia Tomlinson and Lily Pebbles. I had noticed that they have both been doing outfits of the week. Lily maybe a few weeks ago and Lydia kind of keeps it as a staple on her channel and I love her outfit inspiration. But I was thinking I would love to do one of these videos once every single month to show you a very realistic look at what I wear day to day. And my day can either be working at the high top, doing admin work, what I call a potato day, or it could be out shooting photos myself and content, or it could be shooting content for myself where I'm in front of the camera. So a big spectrum of different things. Let's dive into my first look, which is actually from Easter. And I was very proud of this one because I pulled it together quite literally out of thin air. I had none of my spring summer stuff, so no florals with me, but I still think that I was able to achieve a really beautiful Easter look. So without further ado, enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you at the end. I've officially switched over to my vlogging camera and I cannot wait for us to get the new house because I have an epic outfit filming spot that I am so ready to set up for you guys, but I'm not going to waste any more of your time. On to this outfit. So I have officially put on my outerwear as well for this outfit and as you can tell, my style, very feminine very cream loving the neutrals what i have on top is my little fendi sunglasses i purchased these in the black friday sale on essence and i love the look of them i just love the size of them i love that there's no little nose nodules on there so i can easily in the summer just push my hair back and i'm not going to be worried if i have my hair up or anything like that about pulling it out on the top here i have my little dome earrings and those are from majuri on top as well in terms of jewelry i have my little edge of ember ring, a Majuri ring that is very well worn, a rainy ring. And then on here, what you will be seeing through this week is my Lisa Goslin ring, as well as my engagement ring. My rings really don't change, so I'm probably not gonna be showing you that every single day, but that's what it is, and that it is what it will be. And then I'm also, in terms of jewelry, wearing this that I've been showing you guys quite a lot. Let me turn that camera around. This is the Edge of Ember initial and birthstone necklace. And because I am March, I do have the March birthstone on there. April birthstone people out there, you have a gorgeous birthstone. So, you know, it is time that you wear that birthstone. This is a blazer from Zara that I've had for a very long time. And if you've been here for a long time, you'll have seen it. If I wasn't wearing this as outerwear just to get from point A to point B, I would probably take that belt off and remove my belt underneath and put it over top of everything just to do that kind of like Dior blazer belted look. And besides that, I wore my Chloe test bag, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I think I am going to do an official YouTube review just to show you now that I've officially had it for some time, I think that I can make a very educated video. I love her. Let me take this jacket off and show you what's underneath. I also would love to note that I most recently got a haircut and most recently is just yesterday. And I think the color and the cut are absolutely perfect. Truly, I feel so, so me. I think I've always liked my hairstyles before, but this color and this cut, I just feel like it is the most perfect length for spring. And I just feel like flirty and young, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so in terms of top, it's an Aritzia top. It's part of their Sculpt Body collection and it's got the cross body in the back as well. I absolutely love how thick this is. And all I did guys was I took a little insert from a sports bra and I just put it right there. This belt is a Gucci belt and I actually purchased um, a little tracksuit that is vintage and I got it from Vessier secondhand and such good condition, incredible, highly recommend Vestia Collective. Now I also have this skirt and this skirt is the flowiest, most wonderful tulle skirt there is. And this is me dressing for my nieces <laughs> in this one text. Courtney was like, Amanda, you actually look like a Disney princess talking to Reese, which I absolutely love. And I ended up getting this skirt from Amazon. Um, it's phenomenal. I'll link it down below. If you are anyone who has the same style as me, please get this skirt. It is absolutely phenomenal. And last but not least, if you've been here for some time, you will have seen my Sophie Schnur boots and I adore them. I feel like they are nicely reminiscent of a Valentino rock stud and they just turn this outfit from being strictly girly to a little girly rocker. 
which I absolutely adore. So that is my full look for our Easter Friday. I will catch up with you tomorrow. Hello, you guys. It is now the next day, and today I am going to do a beginning of a project. It's basically a documentary about my friend named Charles Liu, and he is a fashion designer. And I was like, okay, so when I'm doing this interview, I want to make sure that I'm very professional and just kind of like muted and he's very black and white in his designs. So I decided I curled my hair and I put it back in this little cutie butterfly clip, which I found on Etsy. I will link it. Plus my little oaken fort earrings classic ring jewelry that I've already shown you and this is an oaken fort dress that I ended up getting online it was an online exclusive a little while ago I absolutely love it because of the quarter length or three quarter length sleeve very nice and professional also with the mock neck you know your girl loves a mock neck and I'm also wearing my little Sophie Schnur boots that are a great dupe for the Chloe Susanna boots so this is basically my look very simple very basic, but perfect to sit down and do an interview. So this is very quick because I'll actually have two outfits today because I am also going to Easter dinner. So this is very much a non eastery look. So let's do the Easter look today when I get back. We are back. We are back trying to decide what to wear to Easter. So many of my spring, like all of my spring and summer clothes are all packed away. So I'm trying to decide how I can have something that's light and fun and obviously different from wearing black earlier. This is one of these sculpt tops from Maritzia that I am absolutely obsessed with. It's got this beautiful banding as well as this bodycon on the bottom. It all feels so lovely and just really elevated in terms of a long sleeve. Now I ended up getting mine in a medium and I recommend this to anyone who is getting a top that is in the sculpt collection, almost size up because it's just gonna give you a little bit more breathability and I find that they fit very tight and you just don't wanna see those lines from your bra. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to decide between these two pants. What's great about the sculpt top is it tucks in so nicely. I think I'm gonna go for the pink actually. I do like the gingham. Hmm. I asked Scotty, he brought up a great point. This does have a ribbing here and when I hit the checkers, it just looks kind of weird. Um, so with the pink pants, the pleats naturally go along with it. I'm going to pair as well my Holland Cooper jumper because it is so incredibly warm and then I don't have to wear a jacket at all. And then I'm gonna wear my little cream boot, so let's put that together. You won't see the sculpt top, obviously, because this will be covering it up as my like technical outerwear, so I'll show you that now. Okay, this is the final little look for Easter dinner. I think it's perfect because it's very functional in that when I'm running around with Charlie outside, because I planned him the miniest little <laughs> scavenger hunt for eggs, um, I can do that without a coat on, so very movable. And it's still got the color for Easter, plus still quite utilitarian in terms of function and I do have layers for when we are playing with trucks on the ground. <laughs> I can just not worry about these Zara pants. They are just cheerful and adding these uh, little Fendi glasses on the top as well is lovely because it can hold my hair back. So there we go. A little Easter utilitarian look. I'm excited, Rosie. Oh, the weekend is over. I guess it's a long weekend, so maybe some people have Monday off, but I do not have Monday off. So this is a very functional outfit that I'm wearing for this lovely Monday. I'm going to shoot some photos for one of my very good friends and someone you definitely could recognize here on YouTube, Christina, who used to be known as Style Apotheca. I'll link her channel down below. If you already watch her videos, you know how amazing she is at YouTube. And if you haven't yet, you're gonna fall in love with her because she's amazing when it comes to um, minimalism, money management, and all of the things that come along with intuitive um, living. I'm gonna be moving around a lot, and I know maybe jeans wouldn't seem in particular to be one to be like moving around, but I am very comfortable in these ones. These are my Levi's wedgies jeans, and they're pretty loose. They're like a mom fit, but also kind of a dad fit as well. And then I have my little Mariner sweater on that I just got from Aritzia. It's the perfect amount of long sleeve, but it's not too hot, which is nice. And today is actually quite cold and windy. And in the spirit of moving around a whole bunch, I'm also wearing some little Reebok sneakers. So the whole look looks something like this. Little Reebok sneakers. I was considering on putting on a belt, but I was like, no, we're not gonna, gonna do a belt today. No restrictions. And I am wearing my little Edge of Ember in the fro 
hoops today with the little pearl and I absolutely love these ones. Hi Rose. Okay, I actually have one quick ad because it is so cold outside. Instead of wearing one of my spring jackets, I'm just throwing on a Gana jacket and it is honestly the most versatile piece you could ever get in the spring. I have this color as well as this color here. I just love a neutral tone with a Gana jacket. They've come out with so many different colors and so many different cuts. I know they have the cropped Gana now, but honestly, this length is the one, the go-to. Oh my gosh, this girl. She just went on the longest play with Scotty and she is so happy. Hello guys, it is officially Wednesday. I missed you yesterday because I had a colonoscopy and this was my outfit. So I thought that that wasn't a notable mention <laughs> because not many of us want to wear those little those little robes. So today's outfit is I think really cute. So today basically to give you context about why this outfit, I'm working from home. I've also got a few meetings. I have a meeting with an exciting partnership today. So I was like, okay, great. I gotta like, look good from the waist up. So I freshly did my hair, which always feels so, so nice. Just my basic everyday makeup. I'm wearing my Edge of Ember hoops again, just because I think that they are just so me. And just to brighten up my look in the Zoom call, I also have my little Raimi necklace on, which I absolutely adore. And then this top is last summer from Cezanne, but they still have it on their website. So I will link that down below, as will all of these other bits. The reason why I love it is because it has this little broderie on glass, as well as it's just got this beautiful detail. I'm also paired it with a Cezanne belt, and this belt is very lovely. It's one of my go-tos, but the only thing is I got it a size too big. So I'm actually gonna have to put some holes in this one, especially if I wear high-waisted pants like these. These are, they're the Peyton Jeans by Revolve, and I also have my little cougar slippers on. Matching little schwozy. Hi. Very functional, very practical, and very wearable. Hello, my angels. The dress of my actual literal dreams has arrived. I am obsessed. You're gonna be seeing all the other outfits that I wore today in my new in my wardrobe outfit video. That is coming out actually, I believe. That one may have came out before this one because I'm gonna edit that one tonight. That will be linked up above. But if you haven't seen that, this is the dress of my dreams. I purchased it from Cezanne. It is the most gorgeous broderie on glass. I don't know if that's actually technically that's what it is, but it is broderie. And there is the most beautiful contrast between the white and the cream that is in this broderie. There are beautiful pearlized buttons as well. And this dress actually comes with its own sachet that matches, but I also picked up this gorgeous belt from Cezanne as well. And it is a raffia belt that I can add to so many dresses in through this summer and spring season. I also am wearing these little slides from Linterval. Beautiful little slides. I also recently picked those up. That will also be in the new in my wardrobe video. You will notice the sun is kind of setting here because all day I've been filming and doing work. It's been a delightfully busy day. Sometimes busy can just be like, I'm busy, I'm important, but that's not how it felt. It just felt like a delightfully full day. And I ended up going to shoot this outfit in this sea of bluebells. I'll put a little video here. It was the most beautiful, beautiful spot. And I was like, one, I got the dress of my dreams. Two, I found the location of my dreams and spring is full on happening. But if we are talking outfit of the day, outfit of the week, this is the one I am claiming today. Another work day, another day where I'm off to shoot and today I'm actually shooting this really cute wedding engagement video for this one couple who is getting married here but they have tons of family in England and then they're gonna be traveling there and it kind of got all mixed up with COVID but I'm gonna be shooting their vows and doing a little interview with them. So I needed something comfortable but something professional as well. I am wearing my little sunglasses from Seed Heritage. I got these when I was in an airport to go to Hamilton Island in Australia. I got a little crack in my throat this morning. <laughs> it's a sleepy day. And I also have this beautiful top. I found it at Winners. So I'm so sorry, I won't be able to link the exact one, but I have managed to find some dupes for you guys. I will link those down below. I just recently got this bag in PR and it is so cute. It is a Lambert bag. So it's vegan leather. It kind of is this accordion style. I also love the thick strap. It also came with a chain strap, so I'm very excited about that, but I've been looking for a bag with this kind of 
thick monogram strap that is very adjustable, very on the go, and big enough to carry a ton of things. So check off the list. Thank you so much, Lambert. I will link them down below so you guys can check out their other styles. And I will link this bag specifically too because it is beautiful and such a great size. And then these are the little ascendant pants. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. They're like an auxiliary pant, a little pant from um, Aritzia. And they are in this G garment dye, GD mushroomy color. And they're really nice because it's nice and neutral, especially to pair with colors on the top, but they're not black and they're not denim. So very comfortable, just like the cargo pant. And I love this outfit of the day. I think for the shoes, I'm going to pair a little pair of sneakers because the great thing about these pants is they are perfectly all the way down to my ankle but to pair a little sneaker underneath will add the ivory that will pair really nicely with all the colors and be super comfortable and super functional for a day of shooting. Wish me luck. Hi Krista. <laughs> this is our little setup for today. We're gonna have Krista there, Ben there. It's so cute. All right, my friends, this is the very last outfit of the video. Wearing this is on top, which has been so amazing for Zoom calls. So basically, I feel like to tell you what the outfit is, I have to talk about my day. <laughs> Today was very much admin, I call it potato days, and it's when you're just sitting at your computer, you don't have to look too cute, but I was also doing Zoom calls, so it's kind of like an elevated potato day. Glorn day? I don't know. <laughs> so this is my Cezanne frilly top, which looks amazing on Zoom calls. I'm wearing my Raimi necklace, my Reem necklace, a Cezanne belt, and I'm also wearing my Aritzia cargo pants. These are phenomenal because they are not too tight. They are amazing and movable, and they don't feel uncomfortable when you're sitting like me at a desk or at a high top. I usually just sit at our countertop, so I'm on these tall stools, and they are so comfortable to wear, and they're also really, really cute. Plus, they match really well, I think, with this little outfit. And it just makes like a little work from home office outfit. I also love them because I got them in a size that wasn't too tight to begin with and they stretch out just slightly so they are just so comfortable all day. I am also wearing my little cougar slippers, which is always an addition when I'm working from home. Let me turn you around one sec. So that is a quick glimpse at a realistic day in the life, day in the week of outfits for April. I was thinking because sometimes life gets busy and this is such a great way to film a video that's very much on the go where I'm not gonna miss a video during the week, but I can kind of do it in bite sizes as I go, especially if it is a busy week, which we definitely have some of those coming up. Let me know if you'd like to see one of these every month. I think doing them every single week would be a little bit of overkill, but as the temperatures and the season changes here in Canada so much, it could be nice to just do some realistic outfits for that month in particular. So consider this my April one. Maybe I'll do that for closer to the end of the month. And let me know if you liked it as well or if you could see yourself realistically wearing these outfits. But without further ado, I shall bid you adieu. Love you guys so much and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye.